नमस्ते फ्रेंड आप सभी का एक बार फिर से वेलकम है और एक अपडेट बैंकिंग के बारे में एस बी आई इंक्लूडेड इन टॉप फिफ्टी बैंक इन एशिया पैसिफिक रीजन अकॉर्डिंग टू ए रिपोर्ट बाई एस एंड पी ग्लोबल मार्केट इंटेलिजेंस थ्री इंडियन बैंक मेड इट टू द लिस्ट ऑफ टॉप फिफ्टी बैंक बाई एसेट्स इन द एशिया पैसिफिक रीजन इन ट्वेंटी थ्री टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री द इंडियन बैंक दैट मेड द लिस्ट आर स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया एस डी एफ सी बैंक एंड आई सी सी आई बैंक इंडियन बैंक हैव बीन परफॉर्मिंग वेल कंपेयर टू देयर पीयर्स इन एशिया इंप्रूवमेंट इन फाइनेंशियल मेट्रिक्स एलॉन्ग विद हाई क्रेडिट ग्रोथ इन ए रोबस्ट इकोनॉमिक एनवायरमेंट हैज कंट्रीब्यूटेड टू द ग्रोथ ऑफ बैंक एसेट्स इन द रिसेंट ईयर The aggregate assets of the Indian lenders rose sharply by 50.5 percent to USD 1.510 trillion in 23. Factors contributing to asset growth: the increase in assets can be attributed to various factors. One significant factor was the merger of HDFC Bank Limited with its parent company. House and Development Finance Corporation in July 22 this merger resulted in HDFC Bank's assets jumping 51.3% to USD 466.35 billion propelling the bank up to 13th place to 33rd in the top 50 ranking according to the data from Reserve Bank of India credit growth is that India stood 15.6% of the December 29 2023 this growth rate represents an increase from the 14.9% credit growth recorded a year ago thank you state bank of india hdfc and icci bank for their the good performance aur ek aur bank ki updates mein news hai ki government plans to sell 10% stake in gic and 1.5% stake in lic the indian government is pl- it's planning to sell up to a 10% stake in the state run general insurance corporation gic during the current financial year this decision comes after the gic received positive feedback during the recent road show held to inform potential investor about the company's unique position in the indian reinsurance market and its strong growth potential general insurance corporation india limited abbreviated as gic is an indian sector reinsurance company which has its registered office at headquarters in mumbai it was incorporated on 22nd november 1972 under companies act the government's plan to sell at least another 1.5% stake in lic after the market rewards ipo investors this additional stake sale aim to make lic stock eligible to be part of index funds and attract a larger long term invest pool investor pool currently the government owns 96.5% of the lic and this all due to the minimum public share holding requirement currently the government owns 85.78% of gic and needs to reduce its stake to 75% so they are going to sell 10% by august of this year to meet the minimum public share holding mps requirement of 25% in the company however there is an expectation that gic may receive a one year extension to meet the mps norms the government official also mentioned that there are no immediate plans to sell any more stake in life insurance corporation however the government may explore this option in a small tranche at appropriate times thank you friends namaste